Exterior box completely covered in the diamond plate on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Okay, uh, weather's finally warmer uh, here on Sunday. I think it's around 50 degrees, which is nice. So I can finally get back to finishing the ice and water barrier and uh, tacking it down where it's not going to break and crack on me. And then we can start putting the diamond plate on. All right, part of the X Blue construction crew and the Clutch Trucker family have all been helping here. X Blue construction. And so we have the bottom diamond plate up, which is the hardest one to deal with. One, one piece of diamond plate up. Hey. <laughs> so you can see I had finished the uh, uh, ice and water barrier. I had to add a little strip in the middle there on that back wall. And uh, there, you know, you saw where we put up that bottom panel, which had to have everybody's help to hold it up because that stuff's flimsy uh, and wants to keep curling and bending as you're screwing it up. So we did that and then we kept going from there. All right, so now we just have to do the rest of the box. Yay. MTV Cribs. <laughs> All right, we're taking advantage of the warmer weather. And it's amazing how much faster things go when you have help. What do you think? I, th I think so, yeah. Look, anyone <laughs> in there? Oh, no, you're down there. Yep. I think it's looking pretty good on the back and it's on the bottom, which you can't see. But we're getting there. We're gonna do the sides and the top next. Whoa. <laughs> Justin was just up there hammering the uh, diamond plate around the corner. So we made that work. Now we're gonna put the other side on and do the top, but I think it's looking oh so nice. All right, Mr. He-Man himself, Justin is trying to bring the top up all on his own. <laughs> He's very flimsy. Yes. Wants to curl. Hi atop the clutch trucker truck. How am I gonna get down? Clutch, you need to save me. It's clutch, I'm so nervous. Oh <laughs> so I think you can agree that looks pretty good. That's pretty much how I envisioned it coming out. And being able to curl that around the corners uh, is gonna help for water dripping off. It's just gonna, gonna want to fall off instead of getting into a seam right there at the corner or something. So I will be uh, of course using the flex paste and sealing everything up and when my uh, son comes back on Tuesday that I'm gonna have him help me on the top of the box to seal that section up but let's take let's take another few looks at it all right let's get some shots of the diamond plate now that it's completely up still gotta tuck over that top edge up there from the top roll it over pound it down with a hammer and screw that into place but for the most part, it is completely done. All sides are on. Here's another angle for you. I think it's looking pretty good. Makes that box now look much more complete. And yet another angle on it. And again, I have to tack, fold that top, finish folding that top edge over a little bit, tack it down. Then I'm going to seal with the flex paste all those edges where things are meeting like that. I'm trying to give you a little bit better shot, shot of the bottom. You can see, of course, goes all the way up to the cab. I get the light up there a little bit more. So if you're standing under it, that's your viewpoint. Very reflective stuff. I think it looks good. And there's looking up at that side. Yeah, baby. You can see a little more work to do on it to complete it off and of course seal it up. So I've got to wait for the warmer weather again so I can do that. But I think overall it came out 
really good. I'll give you one more angle as if you're looking more towards from the front of the truck. And you'll see that box up there and now we'll cover it in the diamond plate. Real happy with the way it's turned out. I think it, uh, it's pretty much about as, as I envisioned. Nice thing is that stuff, uh, you know, don't have, worry, don't have to worry about painting it. It's going to be uh, weatherproof. Uh, it's going to be, you know, I think it's going to look good. It's, you know, kind of like having aluminum siding on your house. You hose it down. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, didn't have quite enough of the diamond plate left to finish my fairings. I'm close. This is my, I guess this would be the driver's side fairing. You can see where all that paint has just peeled off of it. That's going to cover most of it, but I'm going to have to get another piece for there. And I need one for my other fairing, which is sitting way back over there, where all the paint's gone on it, too. But unfortunately, that was the only piece I, well, not the only piece I have left. I've got that <laughs> lying down there on the floor, about a three inch by, oh, what would that be? I don't know, 72 or 60, 76 inch piece. But not a lot I can do with that. If I need to use that to fix a couple of corners, like I need to fix that bottom corner or something, uh, I can put that over there. I think if I just cut that and rework it, I'll be able to make that corner work better. We'll see. So I'm going to be going online here in a little bit and uh, trying to see if there's anybody locally that has something that'll work that I can get or if I'm going to have to order it from Amazon again if that's available and how long that would take. So we'll be doing that, baby. All right, I just clamped that biggest piece of the uh, diamond plate I had left onto the ferry. And you can see that top edge where it wraps around the top of the truck almost completely covers it gonna have to get a little bit more. I know here in town the Menards does have a 12 by 24 sheet which would finish off that top edge. Now I just have to see what I can find on Amazon for the other one. I do want to give a big shout out here to Junior uh, because he had sent me a while ago this uh, DeWalt uh, circular saw with a metal specific cutting plate on it that I used to cut a lot of this uh, diamond plate. There it is right there. Got a metal blade on it and I use that to cut a lot of the uh, shorter cuts on the diamond plate. For the longer cuts we use the table saw, but uh, that really came in handy and that blade worked really, really well. So Junior, again, thank you. And Kevin, also known as Adco, in the comments when you see his comments in there, he lent me this uh, electric shear cutter that I'm going to be using to cut the curved edge on the uh, diamond plate that I'm going to get for the fairings. So you can see this curved edge I've got to follow on the upper portion of the fairing. So I'm going to be using that that he lent me oh so nicely to finish that part of the job. So nice to have people in your corner. Well, I said in previous videos I'm done predicting, but uh, I think I can give you an actual date. I think at the latest, I'm going to be back on the road a week from tomorrow, which is Monday the 28th. So a week past that, because for one, we're out of money. I gotta, I gotta get back on the road and earn money. Um, believe me, I'm told on a daily basis how we have no money. And uh, also my son is building the Five Nights at Freddy's one in real life. Go to his channel, X Blue, And uh, you can see all about how he's building that set. It's gonna be taking up the entire pole barn. And so of course he's anxious for me to get done so I can get my truck out of here so he can finish that. So at the very least, I have to have the truck at least outside of the pole barn by uh, next Sunday so he can uh, try to finish building his set. So I've got uh, kind of a deadline here. Um, there may be a lot of things I'll be finishing up while I'm on the road, extra trim pieces, maybe even finishing up the plumbing. I'm hoping to get that done before I get on the road so I can utilize my new toilet and sink. But uh, you know, these are smaller things that I can bring all the tools I need and, uh, you know, little trim pieces and so forth. I need to finish things if it doesn't all get done by next week. So pretty much by uh, next week, Clutch Trucker will be back on the road. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. I think that's pretty exciting. Diamond plate finally uh, completely covering the box. So uh, that's nice to see that up. Got to seal it up. Going to wait for... Uh, the warmer weather again tomorrow or a Tuesday one of the two maybe I'll start doing some tomorrow uh, 
my son Justin's gonna come back since he's willing to climb on top of the box where I'm not really willing to do that he can help me seal the uh, area between uh, the box and the cab right up against the the cab way up there and uh, get that done but yeah I think that's pretty exciting don't you Rusty yeah <laughs> he's thrilled beyond belief all right thanks for tuning in as always please subscribe please like and comment get to your comments usually within 24 hours while doing the project and don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. Uh, I haven't put anything up there again in a while. I'll try to do that again soon. And as always, if that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. Hey, look out, Muppets! All right, he's poised, he sees it, and there it goes. And he attacks the Megan Strip. Ah oh, yes, happy dog. Well, you're attacking that tonight. Ah, oh, yes. I think you got it, buddy. I think you got it. Happy dog? Happy dog.